Welcome back to Tech After Dark. In today's video, I'll be unboxing and applying a heatsink on the 980 Pro by Samsung. So first up, let's just take my trusty old gerber knife and let's uh, slice through this bad boy. So, always confused what's the best way, but I'll just cut up to the top here. Just like that. And it's actually presented very nicely in a very nice clear and concise little box. So I'll put this box away right there. And it should just slip out. Ooh, there you go. Very small. And I'm thinking that there's probably some more. Yeah, there's pamphlets underneath. Let's take this up right here. Put that right there. Okay. And you get a little bit of uh, kind of how to use it, probably installation guide, etc. Some warranty in here. So keep the box for sure. Let's put that back here. And let's back in the box. Okay. Still a little heavy even without the SSD. Okay. We'll just go like that. So this tiny little thing here. So let's just get the uh, the Warship heatsink. So let's we'll open this up. So this includes. I'll just use this little box just to hold it up so I don't have to ruin it. So usually I recommend just getting a heatsink without the elastics. They've said a lot online that they start to kind of melt and. Even though they could be rated thermally, they might over time snap. So I've just gotten one that actually fits perfectly within the PS5. Um, as in the next video, I'll be installing it inside here. So for this one, I got the uh, Warship Pro and very nice little uh, SSD heatsink. And obviously we'll line up the uh, the screws um, include some thermal pads and a nice little toolkit with a screwdriver. So we'll close this bad boy up. Okay, so right here, here's the thermal pads. So we'll just take that out. You just want to peel this off. Kind of just lay it perfectly in there, just like that. And then we'll just take the uh, SSD and we'll just try to place it right perfect, just so it's kind of Right where the screw is, we're just gonna line that up and just make sure everything looks great. So, and we're just making sure that the sticker on the bottom is okay. And then we'll just take the second thermal paste and we'll just peel that off. Just like that. And we'll just put this smack on. So, Thank you. 
And just like that, I've lined it up pretty well. So it's gonna lay like that. And, and then, so I just peeled the one side. So I'm gonna actually go in and peel the top part and then place the heat sink on top. So I'm just gonna hold this down with one thumb and kind of like bring it out just a bit. And then we can just kind of peel this last little part here. We have our heat sink on there and it's slightly sticky not like terribly because you might just get it wrong the first couple times and I'm doing this all live so just like that very nice let's put that back just a bit and now time for the actual heat sink so just gonna make sure it's nice and shiny and we're just gonna place it right on top here So just like that, just so you can see the screw and the heat sink is just right on top. Um, I think that worked out really nicely. Perfect. So just like that, we're going to be getting the screws now and let's just get the screwdriver. screws right here it's actually seven screws so I'll just take the first one and these actually have notches so they're not going to be sliding out at all so you can pretty much trust those okay so we'll put the first one here and not too much grab so these are pretty, uh, pretty standard little tiny screws just for the keeping the heat sink perfect. I'll have everything in all the links just down in the description. So you can kind of get the right size and fit because Sony kind of makes it a little difficult to like actually get the correct fitting sometimes. You have to read through quite a few articles just to find the sizes and the shape, but this is really not too bad, like pretty, pretty easy. They just have an extra screw just in case, I think, just if you lose one or something. Just nice to have a seventh. Lucky number seven. And just like that, this is not going anywhere. This is a very nicely well put together Worship Pro heatsink design. So just like that, extra little heatsink here, um, just in case you wanna go crazy. And we'll just put the screw back with an extra little thermal pad. Through, and this is all garbage here. So right from there, that's kind of the unboxing of the 980 Pro and the heatsink. And yeah, this 980 Pro is really good. I've actually looked thoroughly into what kind of performance I really wanted in the PS5. And this 980 Pro has a um, NVMe 1.3C, and that is the revision and all the other new ones they have 1.4 revision but I think the 1.3 C still has Gen 4 speeds so you're getting 7,000 megabytes a second read and write sequential and that's just kind of like the top end figures if you're kind of like transferring files and stuff um, and yeah this bad boy has one gigabyte of cache 
This is a one a terabyte and I did get it for $230 CAD on sale. Um, usually they're about 279 to 300 and that's just without a sale at all. And then yeah, the two terabyte goes up to 500. So unless that goes down in price one of these days, I'm gonna be sticking with the one terabyte and seeing how that goes. So, um, and yeah, this actually has a custom Alpis controller on it and it has a five year warranty. So you can kind of make sure that this bad boy can really last you. And I always trust Samsung and looking at others, Sabrent the Rocket uh, Plus for the Gen 4 speeds, very good. Um, just came out a little pricey, but this one came out early in the lifetime and there's been rave reviews over this product. So that's pretty much everything about the heatsink and how to install it. And then in the next video, I'm gonna be installing it in the PS5. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.